Amen. And that all of God's people said amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand. Praise up in this house. Now, that was all right for me. I said, give God a hand. Praise up. All right. I'm going to be worthy. Thank God. All right. To be praised. All right. Amen. Thank God for the gift of life uh -huh. and the abundance thereof. All right. Another chance to be back in the house of prayer one more time. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lord. I'm here to see you, but I'm glad I was here uh -huh. when you all came. Amen. All right, now. Thank Let's you, Lord. Our pastor, my daddy, in your prayers. Uh, we worked late yesterday, and he really over exerted himself. All right. We both did really try to get this project done. All right. We didn't finish. As a matter of fact, when church is over, I leave here, I'm going to finish it up. All right, thank you, Lord. Um, we normally don't work on Saturday, yeah. especially not on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you got to do okay. what you got to do, amen? All right, amen. thank you, Lord. The reason why, because they're having company coming into town to their house, so it got to be done. All right, thank amen. you, thank you. So keep them in your prayers, keep me in your prayers. Uh -huh. I probably have gotten an hour and a half worth of sleep. All right, all thank night. you, Lord. Thank you. I'm sleepy and, I, and this is, I'm sure you how, 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 how God works. If you ever want to hear God laugh, mm -hmm. tell me your plan. All right, now. My plan was to stay home today. All right, now. And get right. some rest. Uh -huh. That plan changed real quick, fast, like in a hurry. Amen. All right. But let me tell you something. I'm glad that I'm in the house of God because when you miss one Sunday, mm -hmm. it becomes easier to miss another one. Yeah. All right. All right. Amen. Where did we leave off at? Um, we're probably, we're probably, hold on, sorry. I won't be dealing with women preachers, amen? Uh -huh. I will not be dealing with women preachers. Uh -huh. Because I'm not a pastor. All right, now. Amen? All right. Pastor will pick that up when he comes back, amen? Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. All right. I can deal with it. I'm just not going to deal with it. Okay. All right, now. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. But we still want to, I still want to know what we left out there. Where, 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 where will we come from? What, what happened? Come on, come on. Somebody tell me what they learned from these last two weeks that they has been dealing with that. Amen. Okay. Okay. Man is the head. Yeah. When a man don't pay for your food, 
You can't get upset because you want to be equal. Is that? I say women live. People who are involved in women live. You know, and, and, and I tell women, you are not equal with the man. Now I've seen some women beat up some men, which is still not equal with the man. We have taken things out of order. Hello, somebody. We have taken things out of order, and God is required that we get back in order. Yeah. I, I said this on many occasions. If there was a Coke machine in this in this place, right? Mm -hmm. Or a vending machine that had potato chips, cookies, or whatever, and I wanted something out of that vending machine, but it didn't have a sign that says out of order, why would I put my money? Thank you. Yeah. All right. I, I hope I got that for you. He's supposed to be the head of the house. If he's doing what he's supposed to do. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, no, that was correct. But I'm going to understand something. It's your house. Yeah. But he's supposed to be the man of the house. He's supposed to be the man of the house. Okay. Because he's the man in the house. Because he's the man in the house. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that don't mean that he runs the house. Yeah. But he protects the house. That's something. Right now. Watch this. If I'm married, if I'm married, and I got a son, and for God for me, if something happened to me, my son is supposed to take over and take charge and do what I would do if I would do. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yeah. He's supposed to take care of his mama and make sure everything in the house still flows and his dad was there. Matter of fact, I ain't got that. If I go out of town, he's in charge. Make sure you don't need girls coming to my house. Hello, somebody. Yeah. All right. Make sure things are still going as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They need to know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. The problem is, we ain't got no means in the house. Yeah. yeah. And me, I married a mama boy. Never do it. A mama boy is like a man looking for a woman to be his mama. And that's how I'm here. I said, yes, he was a right. mama boy. Uh -huh. All right. Child is going to stay with the mom. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. 
But then you got some silly women. They got four babies and six different baby dads. Because they got four other people thinking that they're the kid dad. Watch and they ain't. All right. Can I, come to, can I just talk to you? Right. You got some women, got some men thinking that they got a child by her and she get money from him and get money from somebody else. The devil is a lie. That's why I say she got four children and six baby dads. Amen. And you got some women that go out and have a church. They got something called a net that is a part of that type of. 
And what happens is, if they should suddenly fall, they never catch you. Watch this. As long as that child ain't doing right, every time they fall, you catch them, they never walk on them. Sometimes you gotta let them pop their head. She can help him all day long. She can show him away, but really, she can't teach him how to be a man. If he's not have a father figure in the house, he's really learning on his own. Yeah. Amen. You need a lot of men, and I've seen this at, at Southwood School, and we figured this lesson I got from the girl there. They called them uh, Father Something at Southwood School. These fathers, because all those fights, yeah, dads on duty, thank you. We need more dads on duty. Uh -huh. That might not be your child, but you ought to be a father figure for that child. Yes. Amen. You ought to be a mentor for that child. To let that child know, okay, this ain't the right way. When you go on, it ain't the right way to go. It takes a, a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, anybody could whoop you. I tell folks this story. My, my girl, Matt Tyler, Lord, Lord, is her soul. We didn't have a telephone when we stayed on the cook road, or did we? No. Nah. Yeah, we, we got one on Phillips. No, yeah, on Phillips. But when we stayed behind Thompson Cleaners, we did not have a telephone. But whenever I got in trouble, I don't know how that old woman found out about it before I made it home. And I got another book. I remember we went to uh, the Thompson Cleaners. I think it was me, Michael, Yvette, I want to see Yvette was there. Edward, I know they were there. I don't know if Yvette was there or not. They snitched on me, y'all. <laughs> I got a beat. We was at the cleaners. I had seen white people on TV, but I had never seen a white person in person. Uh -oh. I got to remember I probably five or six years old. I don't think I was in school yet. So I had never seen a white person in public. In person, I've always seen one on TV. And I got there on the white lady in the cleaners, she was washing the clothes. I said, Y'all look at that white woman. That's all I said. They put that told my brother what I said. But nobody said a word. She waited until I went to sleep that night. Came in there, then he cut on that. Man, like, that's why whenever she get in church, tell about, talk about, Lord, I can't see like I used to. I want to, you stop telling that lie, you see very well. She pulled back the covers and never missed. Every time she's gone, she never missed. And all that she said was, pull back the covers. Look at that white woman. I never said that again. All right. But we need more people like that. More grandmas, big moms like that. We need more big moms like that. Hey, Come on, give me the You know, people done things, like I said, I'm old. When I was little, they start, my mom and my older sisters, they start teaching us responsibility at a very early age, like four years old, five years old. Like I told y'all, I was seven years old, the first job I got. Wow. Yeah, basic, self. We don't teach, we used to have something called tours. When you got out of school, the first thing you did, when my family got up in the morning, when you got dressed for school, you made sure you did your chores when you left. And when you came home, you did your chores and your homework, you took your bath, and you go to bed. We share and I, they don't know what chores is. But when their parents get paid, they don't got their hand out. Now, I preached this one Sunday, and I'm going to go back to it. I want to deal with God's plan. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's going to tie into what we've been talking about already. God's plan. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. I want us all 
var i det lyckligt. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Now y'all pray for me because uh, I don't know why I feel this way, but I get depressed. I don't know why, but I've been this way like that for years, so. Y'all know Thursday's my birthday. It's also Thanksgiving. And I always get depressed when it comes up to it. I don't know why. It's not each other. Yeah? Genesis chapter number 26. You have it? Someone read it. And God said, let us make men. Stop. That's all I need you to do. And God said, well, let us make man. Make man how? In our image, in our own image. And? After our likeness. Uh huh. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Watch this. In this lesson, you should notice some stuff. Before God said, let us make man, he did some other things first. What did he do other things that he did before he created man? Or before he made man? He created the heavens and the earth to let man know you got nothing to do with this. Hmm? God planned, he says, let us Make man in our own what image in our own likeness. What is the image of God? Come on, somebody. What is the image of God? Huh? Man. Okay. What else? Being like Him. That's his image. We're made in his image. We got a mind. And guess what else we got? A spirit and a soul. That's the image and likeness of God. What else? Before he made man, he said, let us create. He said, God created. He said, let us. He said God created. The heavens and the earth. Watch this, he says. God created the heavens. Stop. And the earth. Then he goes on and shows us how he created the earth. But he never tells us how he created heaven. Oh, y'all look name strange. Look at it. In verse 1, he says, and God's, and God's created the heavens and earth. Verse 2. Somebody read verse 2. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. And the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the depth. And, as, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Read verse 3. And God said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Stop. He's showing us or he's telling us how he created the earth. The Spirit of God moved on the face of the earth. It was God. And then he said, Let there be what? Light spoken. Whatever God spoke, it came into existence. Watch. You got to be careful. I'm going to read this right now. Your words are powerful. Yeah. 
You can speak things into existence. Watch this. If you realize, if we really realize, if we really realize and acknowledge and knew how powerful our words were and had the faith to back it up, yes. COVID-19 be gone. That's right. Amen. Y'all missed that. Mm -hmm. Y'all missed that. Mm -hmm. I understand that too. But watch this. In order to live, you got to die. You got to die. I'm talking about right now. We'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll talk about that. Y'all didn't know that. Oh, yeah, we know In order to live, you got to die. Because like we really got to live. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what we're going to do. I'm eternal. Yeah, my God. Okay. But I understand what you're saying. He says, let there be light. Yeah. And what happened? There was light. <laughs> Whatever he said, it came into yeah. existence. Now, if we are in his image, if we had the same possession, we are to possess the same power, we can speak to our illness, and it must be what he If it be his will. Every sickness it, it, it does not lie on the devil, but something is not his will. That's why you can't go in the hospital and say, Lord, please heal this person. Please, it might not be his will to heal him. That's right. Amen. If it's your will, Lord, heal him. Yeah. Well, let thy will be done. Even Jesus had enough knowledge, enough sense. Remember when he was in the garden of the sympathy, he was sent him out of tree praying. Honestly to God, he said, Lord, I would that you remove this cup from me. Yeah. 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 That was the human side of him talking about. Yeah. Thank God, the spiritual side kicked his head. Nevertheless, not my will, but let thy will be done. Be done. Mm -hmm. It's not about us. It ought to be about the will of God. And you got to accept his will. Because whatever his will is, is going to happen regardless if you accept it or not. I went to a funeral last Saturday. Guy got killed. A friend of mine's nephew was shot and killed on the corner of Wallace and Carter. Before then, they shot at the house 18 times. Destroyed a lot of stuff in the house. The next day, they saw him and they shot him and killed him. I'm at the funeral, and, and, and his, his auntie, was my best friend, was talking. She was crying and stuff, falling out like five and four of So get yourself together. Stop. I understand you're going through some grief. Stop. I can't tell you what you feel. But let me say something with you. You might think it's harsh. We all know how we got here. Mm -hmm. But we never know how we're going to leave. Amen. And every last one of us has something called an expiration date. If you go in the store about milk, mm -hmm. that milk cart has an expiration date on it. Mm -hmm. And when an expiration date hits, sometimes when you get close, that milk store will to spoil or start to sour. Whenever your day, whenever your expiration day is, I don't care where you went, you can be in the house, you go on. Amen. You can't stop it. You can't prevent it. We all have an assignment here on this earth. When our assignment is up, it's up. Now, do that mean I didn't feel sad or, or, or want to come? No. I didn't need to know that. There's nothing you could have done to prevent what happened. It was going to happen. The way it happened, it was going to happen. So he says, let us make man in our own image and our own But first he said, let there be light. And there was light. What else happened? So God created man in his own Now, verse 4. Oh, no, verse 4. Mm -hmm. God saw the light, then it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Okay, read. Really. God 
So all this happened on the first day. He created light. Or he spoke light because it was already darkness. Amen? It was already dark. So only thing he did was said, let there be light. And he divided the light between what? The darkness. Wherever there's light, darkness can't shine. In other words, when you got Christ on the inside of you, darkness can't stay inside the place that you're in. It got to fit. When you're a child of God, and you have been anointed by God, and you walk in with your head in his head, your head has got to leave. Matter of fact, the, de the demons can't be standing. They got to the Yeah. I remember there was a guy, a story of he had some demons in him, and a man wanted to go to church. And he got to the church, and he began to walk in, and he said, oh, where you going? He said, I'm going inside. He said, well, we can't go in there with you. This is just too much power. You ought to have an anointing on your life right. that will make demons tremble. And folks who got demons in them can't stand to be around you. They going to leave. So he says, he divided the light and the darkness. And that's all on the first day. Read verse. Read. Watch this. The earth was nothing but water. Mm -hmm. That's all it was. Water. There was no grass. Huh? There was no trees. There was nothing but water. And God called the firmament. He did what to it? To divide the waters. Which means. He calls grass, he calls trees to be with their end. He divided the water. He divided the lakes from the ocean, the ocean from the river, the river from the creek, the creek from the pond. That's all of them. Don't forget the sea. And the sea. Yeah. He divided all of them up yeah. to the right place they needed to be. He divided and put it exactly yeah. what, but guess what? He did it himself. Because guess what? If man would have been first, then man would have thought he had something to do with it. These are all about God's plan. What else is it? And God made a tournament and divided the waters which were under the tournament from the waters which were above the tournament, and it was so. Three. And God called the tournament heaven. And the evening of the morning was the second day. Okay, read. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together under one place, and let the dry land appear in the earth. Okay, read. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called these seas, and God saw that it was good. Okay, read, read, read. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and herb and yielding seed, and the fruit yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God thought it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. Stop. I was trying to get y'all to see something what God is doing. There was a story I told about a grandma and her grandson. The grandson loved his grandma. He was always at her heels. No matter what she was trying to do, the little boy was right there nagging her, getting on her nerves. So she decided, I'm going to give him something to do to occupy his time. She gave him a book to read. She said, baby, go read that book. My grandma told me, she read that book five minutes later. He came back in. I'm through reading. She said, okay. It was his little book. So she gave him, go check out the trash. So he went, ran, she got the trash, came back. She's in there trying to cook. 
So she said, what can I do to make, to occupy, give to this child to occupy his time? So she gave him a puzzle. It was a puzzle of the world. She said, baby, go put this puzzle together. And when you get through, I'll spend some time with you. The boy went in the room, looked at the box, looked at the puzzle. Ten minutes later, he done put that puzzle together. And back there was grandma. Grandma said, wait a minute. How in the world did you put that puzzle together so fast? Well, she didn't realize it was a double puzzle. The front was one side of the puzzle of the world. The other side was a picture of a man. Y'all got me serious. So what he said, he said, grandma, only thing I did was I put the man together first. And when I put the man together, the world came together. Okay. I'm saying it again. He says, I put the man together first. And when I put the man together, the world came together. In order for this world to get back together, man's got to get together. Yeah, right. Y'all missed that. In order for the world to get right, man first got to get right. If you want to kill man, disconnect him from what he's brought from. God. Huh? If you want to kill grass, disconnect it from the earth. If you want to kill fish, take it out of his heaven, the water. But if you want to keep it together, everything that you bring that it's connected to, it got to still stay alive as long as it's connected to what it's connected to. But when you disconnect it from what it's supposed to be connected to, it will what? Die. Mm -hmm. Man has walked away from God. When he created man, or when he made man, he told man, you got dominion, which means you got power. You have authority over every creeping thing that's on the earth. It means you have authority. You have authority. You the head. Amen? Where was the one? Oh. I'll wait. Where was the one? Oh, he had to he had to make the world. So how is it that women think that they got a sword over the man? No. I said I'm gonna deal with it. I'm going to say, yes. Okay, I have to put out to everybody the meaning. Okay, God gave all uh, Adam the meaning on the earth. Okay, is it true that after they sinned, he gave Satan the meaning? That's no. Not, that's not true. No. I, I, I just want to know because I heard this no. preacher on TV say that. Well, listen to me, preacher on TV. Like, but I just, that's how I was asking that. Okay. The meaning that got weak. You got too many meaning that got weak. Watch this. When everything was in order before God placed man and the woman in the garden of Eden, everything was in order. Matter of fact, when God created the earth, the heavens and the earth, he would. After he did everything and then he created man, he would. He would. Now, in chapter 1 of verse Jesus, chapter 1, he said, let us make man. But it comes to pass until chapter 2. I want y'all to understand that. Because a lot of people think that there was another man here other than that. Because if you look at it, it seems as though there was more people here other than that Look at verse 26. Where verse 26 is? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. I hope I'm helping somebody today. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And he called his name Adam because he had the breath of life. Okay, now, that's verse 7, right? Yeah. Now, verse 26 says, And God said, Let us make man our image of our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth, and over the cow, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created him male and what? Female created he did. So the people would think, when you read that, that he did it then. But then when you look at chapter 2, he says, and God created man from the dust, or for man from the dust. He talks, then they think that's another man. No, no, no. He talks about what he's going to do in chapter 1, but he don't manifest it until chapter 2. And when he talks about the woman, the only thing is, the difference is, he didn't go back to what he did with man. He used what he already had. Man. Which was man. Hey! To make a woman. To make a woman. That's why she's called woman. Man. man. Mm -hmm. Now, the man was God's gift. Man is God's gift. Man is God's gift to man. To God. Woman is God's gift to man. But we have this cruise and stuff. We've taken it out of order. We've done with what we want to do with it. But watch this. Once he created the man, but before he created the man, he created everything else on the earth first. He created the animals. The trees, the fish, the grass, the birds, the stars, the moon, the wind, the rain, the thunder, the light. He created everything first. Then he made man. And after a while, when he seen that the ducks had a male and a female duck, crocodile had a female and a male crocodile. Dove had a male and a female dove. Horse had a female horse, and a male horse. Everything was male and female, but man was all by himself. He says, I got to fix that. Hmm? So what he did was, he caused man to fall into a deep sleep and perform certain. Without you better preach to me in here. <laughs> huh? No scalpel? Then after the power of blood transfusion. Matter of fact, when he cut it open and took the rib out, he saw the head. Now God left the sea, so did the Hallelujah. Watch the man. The man woke up. They brought it to him. He didn't have to sit there and be, uh, you know how you do when you have operation, you got to go to something they call a recovery room. He didn't have to recover because he didn't realize what had happened. But he said, when he seen him, he said, bone on my bone, flesh on my flesh, I call her bone. Watch this. If he would have took the bone from man's hand, then the man would have felt like he's supposed to pick on the bone. If he took the ball from man's seat, he would have felt like he was both a ball all over her. But he took it from the side. Oh my God. Ooh, Jesus. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, man. Come here, Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. See, I can do this with my cousin. So I ain't got to worry about people thinking I'm cheap. We got to wait here. The wall.
Where's the real man? Where are the means? Where are the means? Men have lost them. They come and watch this. Man lost his way with a woman. You, a woman. You, a woman. You, a woman. Because if you look in Genesis, I want to say it's chapter 3. I want to say it. Let me make sure that I don't want to lie. Yeah, chapter 3. It is. After he created, after he made the woman, took the woman from the real, and he placed them in the garden of Eden, he told them they could eat of every tree, every fruit in the garden of Eden, but there's one tree. He told them to leave it alone. Now, a lot of people will say, well, God, we know that you are God. And you know all things. Why, if you knew what they were going to do, why would you leave that tree there? It's because he's not a God that's going to force you to do anything. We all have free will of mind. So he allowed that tree to be there. And the serpent started talking to Eve. Yes, sir. He was kind more crap today than any animal. Now, this is what this is what gets me. And I, I have to write my to write my, 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 my head. If I'm sitting there and all of a sudden snakes start talking to me, I think I'm gone. That exactly. ain't no thing I know I'm gone. But the reason she stayed there is because the snake was crafty. She didn't realize she really was a snake. Oh, I just said something. I just said something. Women, be careful of some means you allow in your ear. Because they really are snakes. Hey! I care about granddaughter today. Huh? Right. Yeah. You got some me that will paint a picture to let you sing here say your pipe dream yeah. just to get what he want. And once he get what he want, he gone. He'll use you until he done use you up. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there talking yeah, to him. Right. <laughs> you know, and, and you know what? I'm saying this. Sister uh sister uh Willard. Sister Adam, I don't care how strong a woman you are. Let me do this. There are some means that can change all of that. Tell her about it. Can change what? Can change that. Well, you probably ain't made it yet. <laughs> when you were young, you stay up and out there, that's some means. Huh? I don't care how strong minded you are. There are some things about that man you're going to look at. And you gonna like it. And when you love the cover, love is blind. Huh? When you care about a person, hello somebody. You do some things for that person that you normally would not have done for nobody else. And they fooled you and made you do some things that you would not have really normally would have done. I'm talking about that too. Amen. I'm talking about that too. When you were young, matter of fact, you got some old women that still do the same thing right now. Because of the fact, some of them think they're they, they, they lonely. Some of them are desperate. Some of them have low sex. But then you got some that's got good hope. And your good hope, huh, will make you do some stuff. Make you more. When I was young, I was thinking, and these stuff, that's my real thing in that day. Mm -hmm. I really talked to a man who had a job. You know what? I hear that, and I'm understanding that. Yeah. But this is my thing back in the day. This is my thing. Yeah. But they what do you bring to the table? Mm -hmm. But look, Pastor, yes. he told us, he said, what he told me. This is what I said to him. Mm -hmm. I've been single ever since then, but I do. <laughs> he told us, he said, the sign of a woman 
cheek. If somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Exactly. So the way I used to deal with me, I don't do no more. Watch this here. Now, I love my dad. I love my dad. I love my dad. I'm still my dad. I don't do everything my dad did. I don't. I don't. Because I'm Junior. He's my dad. You got that dog to him. I watched his daddy talk to Ted Smith's face one time. I mean, my stepmom, he was seen his ring. He went to him. It was not a birthday. It was not a birthday. It was just because father died on the ring. Oh, yeah. I said, God bless you, Dad. My, my wife at the time looked at that. Why don't you look at me for me? He's talking about everybody. I ain't even looking at me for somebody. I ain't that stupid. Oh, my God. And when I said stupid, I'm not talking about him. Right. I'm talking about being my, because I know how she eats. Every situation is different. She was not worthy of a diamond ring. Okay. Huh? See, in order to get a diamond ring, you got to be worthy. That's right. That's right. You got to make sure. When I come home, I got to cook. I don't work. I just here and come home and cook. You ain't worthy? Okay. And you been home all day? Oh, yeah. Yes, I ain't that's it. You know, no, no, not great. The woman I'm with now, she's a godson. I said that about the last one. Okay. But I know this one is a godson. Because I don't want her to be my wife. She's my soulmate. There's a difference. A lot of times we marry people, and that's all we do is just marry. But they're not your soulmate. She's my soulmate. She makes me want to do that. And don't have to say, oh, you didn't do this better, you didn't do that. She don't do that. She don't belittle me. Okay. If anything, she try to help me with you. Yeah. And whenever a woman always put a man down, your job is not to put him down. Your job is to help build him up. Exactly. Now, Sister Al, I agree. If Negro ain't got no job, he ain't got no time. Yeah. But then, I, I, I look at it, I remember, hey, this woman, I, I don't know, I'm saying it wrong. This woman I wanted to date one time told me, the reason why I don't date one date you, because you ain't got no car. I said, okay, that's fine. But guess what? That don't mean I'm not gonna always have a problem. If you see a man that's trying, okay, say it. As long as he's trying, because guess what? You didn't always have a car, you didn't see it. Huh? Yeah. Hold up. You didn't always have a car yourself. You didn't always have your own house yourself. Hmm? Now, I do got a problem with me and moving in with a woman. I got a big problem with that. If anything, man, you need to have his own. And if you get that woman, y'all get married, guess what? Y'all don't stay. She don't need to move in with you. You don't need to move in with her. Y'all need to get y'all another house together. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Like I said, I can talk about my shit, God. I ain't going to get mad at myself. But what you just said about the woman told me about you didn't have no car. When I first met my husband, y'all, he didn't have a pot to piss in the foot of the door. He stayed on. He stayed in Boulder Parish. But he would hitchhike the rain mm. on to me. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, almost 50 years later, we still here. Yeah. Exactly. I don't agree with that. Yeah. See, uh, some people miss their blessings because of what a person don't have. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. 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 You live with being yeah. God. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. What are you bringing to the table? Yeah. I, I remember, and I'm like that sister, uh, what's your name? Cook. Sister Cook. <laughs> I remember I was dating this woman, and y'all know street water don't snow at all. But when it snow, it do snow. And I remember that I wanted, I wanted her deeper. I, 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 I called I call myself somewhere in love. I walked from Stone Hill to Cedar Grove in the snow. Just to be with her. Got there, and, and, and I wasn't there for 15 minutes because my mama had went to work, and my mama came home early. I had to go out the window. Boy, that was a cold, cold feeling. But when you love somebody, or when you care about somebody, you do all you can for that person. Right. And they do all they can for you. That's right. All right. 
It's not a 50-50 thing. It's a 100-100 thing. Because if I'm just giving you 50 and you just giving me 50, what you understand? Yeah. Yeah, but I know this is the thing, though. 
uh, some men, women have hurt them that they're, they're scared to try again. Just like women, some women are scared to try again. Mm -hmm. I've seen some good men, and I've seen some women that really hurt them, and I'm like, you know, I'm looking for a man like this. I'm not looking at the debate. I want a man like this, and she treats him like that, but he loves it. He loves it. Watch this. I'm going to help y'all out. I'm going to help the women's eyes with the men. We all have been on this show where we've gotten hurt. Mm -hmm. yep. When you get out of that relationship, the first thing you should do is ask God to mend your broken heart. Mm -hmm. Until you ask God to mend your broken heart, I don't care what relationship you get in you always going to be wondering if this person will do me like the last person. And if you got that mentality, guess what? You're bringing baggage into a new relationship. And it's not fair to that person that you get in a relationship with because you're looking at them as, as, as us. You, you're making that person pay for somebody else's mistakes that they did not cause to happen to you. You can't do that. Anytime you go into a relationship, you better make sure that you leave that baggage behind and that door is right to the floor. But sometimes the man is saved by the woman. Oh, no. yeah. 
And all sometimes the man the woman gets see. Look, his sister invited me to his church, and I, I know, and he don't shut up. He, oh, I, I can't lie, I don't see, I can't see good enough to drive. You're going to play with me? No, you're not. He didn't say, you're going to play with me, you're going to get your church, and I pray back home. He wouldn't do that, so I got tired. Well, sometimes, he probably just didn't want to lie, he just wanted to lie. I'm trying to make it easy for that man. I'm not making it easy for that man. You can follow the ball. Sometimes God will put us through a test. Before there can be a testimony, you got to go through a test. Amen. Amen. Let me say this in my clothes. Y'all do know Thursday my birthday. I be 50 years old. And watch this. And I'm being saved. I'm being saved right now. I can count on one hand how many times I've ever gotten anything. For my birthday. Really? Yes. Okay. On one hand. And that's why I said depressing to me. And, and then especially when Thanksgiving comes, because I'm always by myself. But you know what? I, I, the, the greatest gift I've ever got is I'm born to see it, to live to see it. And me, Yvette, Edward, Michael, I think that's it. All of us were born the same year. All of us have joined, get ready to join the 50 club. Well, she's going to join the 50 club. I'll be in the 50 club Thursday. Michael be in the 50 club in December. Her. And who else? No, no, no. I thought it was three, three girls that were born the same year we were. Wait, she don't want got children. All of us don't have any. Bye, Me, Elmer, and Michael are the only three in the whole guys and all the guys in the family. Don't have our lives with you. Nope. And Eric, we only got guys, but we love kids. Mm. And we do anything for kids. Amen? Not too late. Huh? Not too it's too late. late. It's too late. Children, Children are expensive. Child, Children are expensive. Sure. Amen. Me and Dad was talking yesterday. He said, Dad said, well, Junior, me and you go. That's it for the friends. God bless you. You ain't getting down. It's like going down. Well, then there ain't going to be no. Amen. We're going to get you to learn something back in the answer to Amen. All right. We thank the master for the word. Now, I hope you did to some good. We lost some hot butter this morning. All right. In closing, when you use the term, you're talking about something, you're discussing something, what you gonna do, what you ain't gonna do, when you get to the term where you say, but you rub out everything you all wanna see. All right, the secretary report. Our scripture reading, Genesis chapter one, verses 26, chapter one, verses one through 19, two and seven, total problem 14, total offer 55 dollars. All right, good man. What's that here? I'm going to just get ready to receive them to die. It has been proper motion second that Jeffrey has been to receive them to die. All in favor, let me know by the use of sign I. Right. Mm -hmm. Hold the same sign. No question or comment. Let us break briefly for more service. Jesus is on the man.
in my mind and spirit that he's in the church this morning. We thank God for him this morning. Now, uh, we're dealing in the state of God's way, which is wrapped around the end time. We realize that we are right in the midst of the end time. All the things that are going on now lets us know that we are right in the midst of the end time. When man is calling right wrong and wrong right, that lets us know that we are right in the midst of the end time. When God says abomination, man says all right, that lets us know that we are right in the midst of the end time. Man is doing everything he pleased to please himself. Man has walked away from God. But I need to tell you, God is still in control of the situation. Man can go no higher than God will allow him to. Now for you and I, we need not worry about what man is doing, we worry about what ourselves are doing. But we all are only accountable for ourselves. All right, no questions, no comments. Let's go and study with uh, Minister Green. Do Lord, my Lord, do Oh, 